right, Schlagmeister fans. Ron Howard's TV made cotton candy. Let's watch. Meet George Smalley. He had dreams of getting a football team his senior year. They ought to have gold cleats. Dad, think what people are going to say when I get a varsity letter. What an outrageous way to finish high school. But unfortunately, he's not good enough. We need someone to help out the equipment manager. I don't want to hand out towels. I want to play. Everybody wants to play some, but I don't have a room. Now you check your gear into Coach Bell. The night of the school I dance. I wish I could get a girl. Just to get my mom off my case. She thinks everybody in high school is going steady or something. She probably thinks I'm a homo or a wallflower. Or the band at the dance is Rapid Fire, led by Torben Baquette. And this is like the only song he knows. Torben also goes to school here. He's a senior as well. Since he needs a guitarist, George offers himself. Well, what band are you in now, man? Well, I'm not a band. I mean, I've never been a guitarist, but I'm a good guitarist. Well, what do you think I am? A school teacher or something? Somebody gave this to me and I'm going to give it to you now for nothing? Just like that? I said I can play. I'll give you a try. Well, listen, man, why don't you come back in a couple of years? Oh, no. So he decides to form his own band. Clint Howard is going to be his manager, Corky. Best four bucks you ever spent. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But I gotta change his get down, get down baboon and stuff. Oh no, the baboon is key. So he heard, hold some auditions. Let me know how it went. Well, you can go if you want to, but I don't know. I always kind of figured you were going to be the manager. It might turn out there's nothing to manage, but manager. So he gets four people to show up and they have their first jam session. Including a girl drummer played by Leslie King. Scholarship at MIT. I, it's through my dad's company. It, it's, it's okay and everything, but I just feel like I'm spending 98% of my time worrying about grades. So their band forms, they're called Cotton Candy, and of course Rapid Fire is their arch enemy. George and Brenda decide to, um, they hit it off a little bit. Better get going. Better get up for school tomorrow. We should do this again sometime. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe you and I could uh, go out sometime. Maybe go to a movie or get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Doing that. One more of the George Smalley blunders. You always put yourself down. It's terrible. Well, not a heck of a lot to cheer about. Well, come on. You're a good musician and you've done a great job getting the band together. Better if I was leaning to the right, but the left lean. The left works. Torben, the jerk. <laughs> I'm the manager. Oh, you're the guy who booked him into the Battle of the Bands, right? Yeah. That was dumb. <laughs> you're gonna waste all that gas go all the way out there just to get yourself creamed against the wall? As Torben mentioned, the Battle of the Bands. For cotton candy. Make it to the semifinals. Rapid Fire plays the one song they know. He sings it like shit, too. But it's good enough. Torben has some plans for Brenda. Well, you know, 
I was checking you out there the other night, and I'm saying to myself, man, you've got to get this chick. So I want you to join Rapid Fire. How about that? Torben, I wouldn't join your band if my life depended on it. They fall in love now. Art? George, I'm leaving. We're going away to college. George has been getting what frustrated. Just play the changes, will you? Yeah, well, do you know the changes? Bart, knock it off. And they pretty much break up here. Corky manages to get them a gig, and even though they're broken up, uh, Brenda and George both play together. <laughs> it's a kid's birthday party. <laughs> but it's a gig. It's prom night. Well, we've had a great year this year, but the best is yet to come. Here they are, and here he is. You wanted him, and you got him. Ladies and gentlemen, rapid fire. Cotton Candy's members are not impressed with rapid fire. Corky was taunting Torben from the stage. I don't want to see your ugly mug up there again, you hear? From the crowd. Man, I hope they broke the mold when I made this geek. Hey, Torben. At least I don't have to pull down my pants to talk. Corky doesn't let up, though. And this results in both of them getting kicked out, which means no rapid fire tonight. Candy plays, and it turns out they're a hit with the group. Go to Boston and be this chemist. I know, I know, I understand. It's not like you're going to be gone. But I don't want that. See, I like music. What would you say if I told you I, I, I was going to stay here and go to school? Oh. <laughs> Phil Mans with everybody graduating. George Smalley. All right, let's talk about Cotton Candy. I have to admit something here. I've probably seen this movie close to 100 times, although I haven't seen it in about 15 years. It's been a long time, but I used to watch this one quite a bit just for fun. And uh, it really sticks with you. Um, it was directed by Ron Howard, made for television in 1978. This particular recording that I was using here, I was able to figure out because wherever I got this from, they had commercials in it. So it came from, um, I think it was an L.A. station from Friday, June 12th, 1981. I was on at 8 o'clock p.m. that night. And if you look on these old TV guys or dig, on, dig, dig deep enough on the Internet, you will find it. So, uh, And I verified that. So that's when this recording came from, almost 40 years ago. Anyway, it's a... Uh, a charming little story here about this guy, George Smalley, played by Charles Martin Smith, who wants to start a band. Uh, he wasn't able to do anything else in high school, uh, didn't make the football team, so he joins a band, or forms a band, I should say. He gets these two brothers. He gets a girl drummer, played by Leslie King, and um, he gets uh, Julio, this uh, guitar player as well. 
Um, his manager is Corky, played by uh, Ron Howard's brother, Clint, who's in all of Ron Howard's movies. Actually, Ron Howard's father, Ron and Clint's father, Rance, is in this movie, too. He plays, I don't know if it was the principal or what he was, some sort of guidance counselor at the school. But anyway, so they form a band. Now, their rival band is this group called Rapid Fire, uh, led by this guy named Torben Biquet, who... Apparently, Rapid Fire is like this most popular local band, and for the life of me, I can't figure out why, but they win all these Battle of the Bands contests, they have paying gigs, uh, they are Mr. Everything, and um, Torben Biquette is like their flashy leader. The, ba- the thing about this movie is every time we see Rapid Fire, they're only singing the same damn song, I Shot the Sheriff, over and over again, and to top it off, he sings it badly. He's a really poor singer. It's a very poor rendition of that uh, uh, of that Eric Clapton song. Or was that... Uh... J.J. Ah, whatever. J.J. Kale? I don't know. Whatever the case is. Uh, well, Clapton's is obviously the known version of it. But anyway, yeah, it's a shitty version of that song. Um, but nonetheless, Rapid Fire is somehow super, super popular. They have the Battle of the Bands contest. Rapid Fire doesn't win, but... The, and I'm sorry, Rapid Fire does win, but Cotton Candy finished... Well, they were in the top four, at least. I, we know that. Uh, I don't know if they were second or third or fourth, but whatever. Um, but Rapid Fire won again. Ultimately, we come to the prom night, and Rapid Fire is play, playing the prom. Well, Corky, who is uh, the manager, uh, Clint Howard, he's taunting Torben Biquette uh, from the audience, uh, calling him names and everything. Eventually, Torben jumps off the stage and they start a fight. Well, the school won't allow that, of course. Both of them kick, get kicked out of the prom. There's no band to play at this point. So uh, as he's being kicked out, uh, Corky's screaming, George, George, all the equipment's in my truck. Go get it. You can play. You can play. So the band gets together. They go on stage. Uh, the audience is a little lukewarm at first, but they warm up. And next thing you know, they're a huge hit. And apparently their career is going to take off. Um, and then the last thing you see, there's graduation and everybody's happy. Uh, George and the Brenda, the drummer, hit it off and she's going to stay to go to college there with him. So that's our movie. So anyway, like I said, it is kind of a charming little film. If you look at the comments on IMDb, this movie it really is beloved. Uh, apparently it struck a chord with people who just like George who uh, had bands in high school and such and the way they tried to make things come together and everything. Interesting about this group here, uh, at least in the movie here, uh, Cotton Candy, their songs were new. I mean, they, they they wrote their own material. While Torben, all he sang was I Shot the Sheriff over and over and over again. Poorly, mind you. So, but anyway, that is this movie. Now, it is not available on DVD. It's not available on VHS. There's been some bootleg copies floating around for years. I had two versions of it. Um, and I caught, burned both of them onto this, made some homemade box art there. Apparently, the Alamo Theater, which I think is in Texas, they actually showed this uh, not too long ago, a few years back. Um, that's kind of cool, actually. So I don't know why this movie is not on DVD. I think this would make a good double DVD with Ron Howard's uh, Through the Magic Period, also known as uh, Pyramid, also known as Tut and Tuttle. But they're not out there, and I wish they were. Uh, until then, I will have my burned DVDRs of both of them. So anyway, it's a cool movie. I believe the whole thing is um, streaming on YouTube. You can check it out there. It's just a fun movie to watch. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about it. Cotton candy. Watch it. Bye.